so we're taking Chris's performance and we're actually shrinking him down and scaling him down and thinning him up and we're doing it using a variety of techniques but that's one of our sort of most more challenging aspects of what we're doing and something that really hasn't been done to this level before. You know, he's a big guy, he's broad and he's got a classic V shape and what we're trying to turn him into is the 98 pound weakling and make him shorter and thin out his face and re you know, remove the muscles from his neck and his shoulders. We did a few proof of concept tests and I remember showing a section of the film, early rough cut footage of the rebirth scene where there are a few shots of Chris skinny, gets onto a table, goes into the pod, the pod opens up, reveals the muscles, and the people I was showing to, how did you add those muscles? That was amazing. How, what's that effect? How did you add those muscles? And I went, that's not the effect. The effect is the skinny version. They go, really? That is kind of when we all looked at each other and went, it's gonna work. It changes the performance. When you look, when we're first looking at dailies, and we're first looking at the, our rough cut, there's very few completed shots, and you see Chris, you know, muscular Chris, doing these scenes with people, and everyone's referring to him, you don't give up, you're skinny. And then when you start seeing the effect shots finally in the film, Wow, does it change everything.